Are you going to invest in real estate this year? If so, you need to watch this video before you file your 2020 tax returns. So what do your returns have to do with your investment plans? Because your tax returns generally serve one purpose to you, and that's to reduce your tax burden. Of course, and, and that makes sense, but what if you need lending as a part of your investment strategy? One of the amazing things about real estate is that it's an attractive investment made sweeter with leverage made possible by debt. Money is still cheap, so it's likely a part of your strategy. So back to the original question, what does your tax return have to do with this? Well, lenders will look at your credit, the collateral, loan to value range, loan to value ratios and all sorts of things. But how will they measure your cash flow or your capacity? Ding ding, it's your tax return. Your tax return is what tells the lenders how much you earn. So when you earn $150,000 from your job or businesses or investments, but only report $25,000 income because you didn't claim it all or aggressively take deductions, you're not going to have the kind of capacity or cash flow the lender needs to see. So if you want to invest like you make $150,000, you better have the tax returns to back that up. So what to do today before you file your 2020 taxes? One, be honest. I mean, this is obvious, but it's a stretch for some. So start with the basics and be honest. Two, claim it all, even the cash. Maybe you have a side hustle and that money is destined to be invested. If you don't claim it, the lender doesn't know you have it and can't consider it. Three, measure how aggressively you deduct. Wealth-minded people are sensitive to taxes and will often work very legal but effective strategies to reduce taxable income. Now, this is fine if your only goal is to reduce tax burden, but if you want access to capital, you might need to reconsider this. And four, talk with your lender about your goals for the next three to five years. Discuss what kinds of investments you want to make and what position your personal financial statement and tax return will need to be in in order to do this for you. Then, when you work with your accountant, you can file a return that doesn't stand in the way of your goals. As always, I'm Jennifer Rulins, co-founder and broker of One Focus Property Management. It's a pleasure to bring these videos to you, and I'm always available to discuss how to make your real estate investments work for you. Visit me at onefocuspm.com.